Hey, I'm Antonio Persepo. We're at K1 Fight Factory in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Today is day 19 of my training at K1 Fight Factory, preparing for my MMA fight in Malaysia, my first MMA fight ever, and my first fight of any kind in about seven years, I think, since I was boxing. And uh, basically, I did one, two weeks of training in Thailand first, then one week of training with the Book Tour team and with Paddy's Fight Club, and then a month here at K1 Fight Club. Today, 19 days into training, I have lost about five kilos. My cardio is through the roof, my strength is through the roof, my striking has gotten better, and I've actually learned some grappling I didn't know any before. I had a lot of just uh, fundamental issues with my striking, and when I went to Patty, he looked at it and he said, hey boy, you forgot everything I taught you. You know, and he always says to me that because I'm outside the country all the time, and I'm training with a lot of different trainers, so then my style keeps like getting screwed up, and my training screwed up. So we were trying to correct it, and then I came to K1, and they just tore it down completely. They said, no, scrap your old style, we'll start with a new style. So I got a new style now. Hands in front of my face like this, moving to sides. I actually move a little bit. Occasionally when they throw punches, they don't always hit me. So anyway, it's got a lot better thanks to K1, and they taught me grappling. Okay, come over here. Come, 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 come. Okay, this is... This is the K1 motto, train hard, choose your place in the food chain. So the question is, do you want to be predator or prey? Now in my case, my place in the food chain, I always thought would be like, I'd be a middleman, you know, like I'd buy the meat from the hunters and then sell it to the lazy people at a high markup. You know, and for that, I don't have to be particularly fit. So I was already there, you know, but now they're getting me fit so maybe I can become a hunter. I mean, not that that's a good career choice. I don't know, I have to look at the retirement benefits and this and that, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so K1's been helping, helping me prepare, and then they invited my friends over here from the Volk Tour team, the three guys who are going to fight with me in Malaysia, and so they're training here today too, and it was a good experience for everybody. No, no, this is my friend Alex. You know, you guys are like equally as intelligent. <laughs> he's, look at this guy, he's so tall, man. If I fight him, he's got, his arm is as long as my leg. <laughs> Alex, tell the people at home who you are and tell them about your personal martial arts odyssey. Uh, well, I'm Alex. Uh, I started two years ago from watching his martial arts odyssey. Started here in Cambodia with the, the Bokator team and uh, eventually focused more on fighting. I ended up having my first fight here in Phnom Penh and uh, one more in uh, Thailand recently, which I won. And uh, now here I am training with Antonio at K1 in Phnom Penh. Awesome. Now one thing about Alex that's very special, we don't know for sure, it's not 100% certain, but he's the only or maybe one of very, very few foreigners ever to come to Cambodia, train at a Khmer boxing team, and then fight in Cambodia. You're one of very few. Yeah, because Patty has fighters, but you know, Patty's not Khmer, right? So Patty, usually we train with Patty and then we go fight. But uh, he trained with the Khmer team, he trained with Arcad. Yeah, the uh, Cambodian Army uh, team. Right, Royal Cambodian Air Force. Yeah. It looks like an army because they don't have airplanes. <laughs> uh, and also, Bori Young helped you, right? Exactly. And you've seen Bori in my videos, he's got a big, big jailhouse tattoo of an eagle on his chest. And he looks really cool, and uh, he helped Alex prepare. So anyways, that was a cool experience for Alex, and you one of the first, so I respect you for that. Thank right? you. And thanks for the inspiration. Oh, no worries, man. No worries. Inspiration is free, right here on Martial Arts Odyssey. <laughs> September 6th, my 44th birthday, and we're going to be fighting on September 11th. So today's September 6th, my last day of training, my 44th birthday, and we're fighting on September 11th, five days after my 44th birthday. I think I'm the oldest fighter in the universe. <laughs> Thank you guys. 